you guys don't remember this guy's frugal fishing fundamentals that's right baby going camping huh that's right <laughs> he's got the cummins pulling my boat pulls it a little bit better than the taco over there hopefully oh dude it will brew so we're about to hit the road right now guys we've got a long drive we're doing some mackinac trout it should be exciting i will see you guys when we hit the road say bye frugal <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna load up right now, hit the road, and see some beautiful terrain on the way up there. It's gonna be an exciting weekend. Subscribe. Just got here, boys. Yep, finally made it. It's time to crack open a beer. <laughs> <laughs> up here at the family property, guys. Feels good up here. It's nice, huh? Yeah. Finally made it. We are going to get camp set up. It's going to be an awesome weekend for Mackinac trout. Bucket list fishery for me. Never caught one. I know the techniques, I've been studying them and, and everything like that, but frugal as well has never caught one, so. That'd be awesome. And we're gonna unload right now, and get the water turned on and stuff like that, turn on the breakers and have a good time this weekend, guys, so stay tuned, should be a good time. Those are cool. The wood stoves and shit? Damn, bro, you got that big old tote, huh? Huh? Got that big old tote, huh? Yeah, I got everything. I got three helicopters in here, dude. <laughs> dude, that's rad. That's sick, huh? Hell yeah. So yeah, we can, we can fly that thing later, huh? I don't know, it's a little tight here. I brought my small ones, but... There's areas though. Like I do, you know, tricks and stuff with them. Yeah. Got the beer collection going, boys and girls. It is a beer collection. You gotta have the different brands and types and things. And here it is, little little sweet camper. A lot of memories up here. Grandpa and grandma and my dad and pretty cool, man. Love coming up here. All right, guys. So we'll do a little, we'll do a little conversation piece at the fire tonight, and that'll go on the membership only channel. So um, if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. There's gonna be a link in the description below. Um, just some conversation pieces. We'll do a little talking about Mackinac trout and things like that, and and just the fun time that we're gonna have up here, and that'll be on that channel only. But for everybody else, Mackinac fishing tomorrow, baby. We will see you guys tonight at the fire. Tight lines. Brew. <laughs> it's the best spinner ever made. This guy and his rooster tails. Best spinner ever, ever known to man. I got more here, but they're mostly all black and silver because that's the best color ever made. <laughs> Trust me. Trust him, Brew. A lot of you guys been asking what Frugal's been doing. Got RC Master over here, look at this. That's his little helicopter. It's upside down right now. Damn, bro. <laughs> doing back flips, front flips. Look at that tree is right there, dude. That's insane.
<laughs> That's wild, dude. You're hella good at that thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> they coming at me. Oh, damn. Damn. I've never seen anything like that. That's wild. All right. Officially signing out for a little while. Dude. Look at these steaks, boys. You know, they're just strip steaks. Shut up. You excited, though? I'm excited to eat the meat. I'm not excited exactly about the steaks, but whatever. I prefer a fat ribeye. Potatoes. Um, do we have separate trashes? Just throw it all in the same one. We'll just throw it all away. Water that's warmer than 40 degrees is less dense. Water that's colder than 40 degrees is less dense as well. Yeah. So the really cold water will be above 40, so that's why lakes freeze on the top yeah. first. So right underneath the ice, it's like 32.1 degrees. Oh wow. Like an inch under the ice. And then as you go down, it gets down to 40, like 30 feet down or whatever. 30 feet down. But well, I don't, I don't know if it varies, but. So that's why in the dead of winter, when the ice here, fish in Forum, they're down deep. And then in the summertime, they're down deep as well because up the surface is like 70 or whatever, so yeah. down deep. But then in the in the spring and then in the fall. So it sounds like you target them year round. Yeah, you can you can fish them year round. Cool. But just in the spring and the fall, when the water rises and hits hits that 40 and then as it falls and hits that 40. Most productive? That's when the whole lake becomes accessible to the Lakers because it's 40 degrees everywhere. Yeah. So they can go wherever they want. Would you say that you catch more when they go wherever they want or when they're schooled up? <clears throat> well, I think you catch more. Yeah, ice hop and then late fall is definitely the best time for sure. Coffee in the morning. You excited? Yeah. For the coffee? Yeah. I'm excited for the coffee, the fishing. I think I left my phone in the shooter. Morning folks, day one, <clears throat> targeting big Mackinac trout, <clears throat> should be a good time, got got some coffee here in the morning, with good old fruit fishing over here, that's right baby, <laughs> got a little bit of grounds in our coffee, not the best pot in the world, but along with that, we got some donut holes for breakfast, mmm, 36 degrees. Is that what it is? No wonder my fingers are freezing. <clears throat> Stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna hit the road. Be there in about 45 minutes. <clears throat> We're gonna start off by jigging. I'm gonna jig up a, I'm thinking 20 pound Mackinac for the first fish. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. I'll do it 18. <laughs> we'll see him big guys. So the engine's still at 55 degrees. Really? Yeah. And it's 36 right now. Damn.
recording Frugal, recording me. All right, camera. All right, folks, we are on the water. We are about to make a run and look for some kokanee. And look for these giant schooling Mackinac. Hopefully we get on some 20 pounders today. There's some big fish in this lake. And actually the record was caught out of this lake. So we're excited to do it, man. We're gonna start off jigging uh, Kodiak custom tackle jigs. And then after that, we're gonna start drawing with some down riggers. So stick around, should be a good time. That's the crew today, boys. All right, folks, so <clears throat> just mark the mac on the screen, but what we're doing is we just have a chunk of herring on our tube jig. Wind's blowing, and it's kind of just pushing us down the lake. We've got our gear sitting on the deck here, um, and, you know, hopefully, as we're marking fish, we can kind of move it a little bit, maybe right above that fish, wherever they're at, the water column. And, Try to entice the bite, but I'm thinking that chunk of herring on there as it's just dripping down the lake will kind of help get their attention and maybe get a grab. I don't know. I'm with the lake trout guy right here. He does more of this than I do. It's the first time I've ever done this. First time I've ever lake trout fish in Oregon. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But he's from Colorado. I'm from Oregon. Between us, between Frugal right there, we'll be able to make something happen. Yeah. We'll hopefully, hopefully. Hey. Uh. LED, too bad it doesn't pick up the screen. It does when you change the shutter speed. What? Might turn out to be a nice day. It's snowing earlier. I'm trying to. It's cold. That's actually gorgeous right now, man. It's getting a little better. Frugal's actually got his in the middle of the water column. We marked that little school of cooking right there, so he's just drifting through it. Drifting away. Oh, that's a whack. Did you? Oh. No. Leave it there. Leave it there. See him on the screen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Well, how's it feel, Colorado? You had a couple bites, huh? Yeah, I felt good. I'm shaking. You gotta talk to the boys over here. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm yeah, shaking. dude. Yeah, got whacked wow. twice. What were you fishing? Just that tube, that kind of big white tube. It's kind of glow in the dark too. Off like five feet off the bottom, just holding it as still as I could. Just got whacked. Set the hook into nothing. Then we looked at the screen, and there's few marks all over our stuff and then like I don't know 20 seconds later it just got whacked again and it just set into nothing and yeah there's got me, got me excited, there's a school of lake trout in my gear look at that dude that is insane Can't catch one for our life depending on it right now, huh? I think we can. <laughs> I like Colorado's attitude, boys. Alright, guys. Just a little update. We've been at it for, I don't know, four or five hours. and We had three bites earlier on in the day. And then um, we had one on a spin fish on a 360 and a spin fish. Popped the downrigger clip, fish came off. Um, now I got a whole herring on a tube jig. We have another tube jig with a piece of herring and then a tube jig with no herring. And we're seeing so many fish come up in our gear and they're not grabbing it. And I think, I think part of the reason why is the fact that it snows, it rains, it blows sideways, and then it's sunny and then it's calm, and then it's super windy again. And I think the weather, how it went from 80 all week to what it is now is just shut the bite off. It's like 50 degrees and 
with the wind chill, I mean, it's even colder, but I think the bike just got shut off through the temperature changes and the pressure dropped. And yeah, I mean, I can't explain why so many fish are coming into our gear not biting, but that's fishing. Box of U20s. Just tied them on. Super new to this fishery, guys. We've tried spin fish, 360 flashers. Um, we've tried jigging, we've tried herring, we've tried jigs with herring, we've tried multiple different colors of each thing we're doing, and still nothing, but we're gonna try trolling some U20s now. Just no flash or nothing, just U20s on the downriggers, and we'll see what happens. Well, we are finally trolling downriggers again. I have a U20 here, blue and blue and red, at 70 feet on the, on the downrigger, and then we got him rigged up with a like more of a natural color on the downrigger as well um, and he's running about 75 80 feet so we're about 10 foot apart and uh, we're hoping that we can get on some of these giant schools of kokanee and pick up a, a lake trout behind them so we're excited to try a little bit different technique here nothing else for today the bite has been tough as hell guys i've only seen like two or three nets and they've all been kokanee Stick around, never know what might happen. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up today. We still have tomorrow, but uh, what a grind. The wind was blowing, the snow was coming out, the sun was shining, the rain came out. <laughs> I mean, it was blowing sideways. I mean, it was it was an eventful day. I'm tired, I am ready to go relax at that camp. Um, yep. All the techniques that we ran today did not work. We had follows on every single technique that we ran today. In the in the graph, you could see fish coming up in our gear and back down all day long. And I don't know what to say about it, but tomorrow we'll bring some tuna. We didn't have tuna today. Maybe we can wrap our our uh, U20s with some tuna. Maybe we can uh, put tuna on the spin fish instead of herring. Maybe they didn't want herring today. I also think the pressure change is a big reason is why these fish didn't bite. It's been 75, 85 degrees the last two weeks, and then boom, all of a sudden it's 50 degrees, and it's like 45 degrees this morning, 40 degrees. I mean, that pressure change had to have shut the bite off because we're at day one of the shitty weather. So, tomorrow maybe they'll acclimate a little bit, the bite will be better. I don't know. So, we're gonna head back, we're gonna reel in right now, get everything off the downriggers, and uh, we'll see you guys on. On day two. We got Scott. Well, to say the least, we struggled for two days. We did, uh, basically today we fished, I don't know, five or six hours. About, yeah. And then yesterday we fished all day. Um, and we camped up at uh, my family's property. And we, we had a great weekend. But the Mackinac trout thing, man, I think... You know, fishermen got all kinds of excuses and whatnot, but honestly, it's been 80 degrees up here for the last few weeks, and then all of a sudden it dropped to 50. Yeah, and it's like 15 below normal Yeah. this morning. And so I'm thinking that that drastic change in temperature shut the bite off, because we were having, we were doing everything the guys were doing on, on Addicted, on Kodiak Custom Tackle, uh, their fishing page, on... Uh, they went outdoors doing all the same stuff and we had follow after follow after follow and nothing no like, takers no taker we had we had two bite two like solid bites yesterday yeah and on jigs um, we marked a lot more fish yesterday too yeah we did so they kind of disappeared today we had a little calm before the storm today now it's blowing 30 mile an hour but we had a we had a, a window of about three hours this morning where it was calm we just couldn't find the fish. I mean... The fish couldn't find us. Yeah. In a nutshell, though, we had a great time camping and fishing. Uh, we're in the outdoors for obvious reasons. And fish or no fish, we had a good time. Yep. Good times.
always. We're gonna hit the road. We got a long drive. Frugal fishing is back. Psh. Boy. Not back. I'll see you. See you around. <laughs>